Uh, anyway, but let's get down to business here. Let me show you the video. Log in as this guy. Okay. When you log in, you get the broker and all this sort of our, uh, videos. would be marketing. Um, it's here. So the idea is you click here, create video, type in a name, compile video, blah, blah, blah. It makes a video, and here's what they look like. Um, view. So then it creates a video, and it has a text. You can change the background. You can change the text on the settings screen. Um, and then it takes your video. It uses the voice. It creates a really nice voiceover. It watermarks their photo with their phone number. It does that little Polaroid effect automatically. You see how it's blurring as it zooms out, and you see the jumpiness on the transition. So those are the things yeah. that you fix yeah. in the code. That's big deal. It's not major, but it's a little bit annoying. So. Anyway, and I need to have other, instead of only this, like have a, a running banner that stays there or and a bottom or a bottom banner or, some, you know, different options for the agent. Right now I just have the photo with their name and phone number. I mean, there's nothing wrong with what you've got just because, you know, it's one of those things, you know, like, like you said, you know, there's, there's phase two and phase three, yeah. you know, right now yeah. phase one, <coughs> this works, so... Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it generates when you do the generation, it generates with the watermark and without it. Does, it creates both videos. So here it is without the, the the photo, and this text in this background is generated here, right? Right. Yeah, see, shit background image. You can pick. You can pick your image from these images here, mm -hmm. like that, and then you can pick your text set. Like change the text color. See the text color here. Um, right. Set background. You saw the set background image. Um, set starting text. By default, it is the house information, and you saw it centers it, but you can change it. And then at the end of the video, there's ending text as well. After the video is done, you can change that. Gotcha. So that's a that's what it is. It's pretty short and sweet. Um, it works. Right, but you can add. Stop for a second. Yeah. So yeah. if you don't have to create one, but if we were to create one. It says to do the voiceover first. Is that right? Yes, because it needs to create. It adds the voiceover to the video. Yes. Okay. And then, and then let me switch. Let me switch to my speaker so you can hear how good this voice is. You okay. forgot. In fact, I don't remember if I've ever shown you this before. Um, let's see. See if I can get it to come out of the speaker. Hold on one second. Oh, output, duh. <laughs> okay. There it is. Yeah, I'm familiar with this because I, I bought it. I actually have it. Yeah, yeah. It's that. Hi, GT. This is the voice over system. It's pretty decent. It doesn't sound like a robot. And so I know. it's it's decent. Anyway, the cool thing about this, like I told you, is I got I bought that program that you pay $100 for. I have it running on the server, and I have a hack to be able to use that program off of the server for all the websites. So I kind of basically I override the built-in Microsoft voice with that, hack, with that program, and I'm kind of hacking it out so that all the clients get to use that program. But, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, sweet. So anyway, so that's what that is. Um, and you create that, and then you generate the video, and blah, blah, blah. So, so, so that's first, what it is. Okay, and I so, just needed to like, polish it out just a little bit. Okay, so first is you create the, the, the audio, and then what do you do second? Okay. Then, you're, then you just type in a title. You could type in the title, and it would just use your ad, the address for the... For the, the this the, the background for the start and end of the video is optional and the text is optional. It's going to use the by default it's going to use the address information for the house and the ending text would be the address information for the house. But you could change it. So frankly, you could change the background. So frankly, yeah. if all you do is just uh, is just do the voiceover and then yeah. and then after that you could just hit um, you know, like, and you make the video. Compile tile, video right here. Tile, yeah, put it in title. That's it. You don't yeah. have to And then when you do that, else. here's what happens. Watch. If the standby, this will take a few minutes, and then watch. I have a little uh, loading bar up here, and it just takes a couple minutes to run. It, it'll do it. It'll make this video right now. It's not that big a deal. It takes a minute and a half. 
So it's creating like 100 images out of each image. That's why it's, and it has to scale each one. That's why it takes a little while. It's, you see what it's doing here. It's create, it has yeah, to create 720 yeah. images. And it gets done and you'll see them in the library. It's not that big a deal, but. I just, there's a few little small minor bugs. This would be the easiest thing to do tomorrow if I don't have the other thing ready to go. It needs to be done because this is kind of a cool feature. The, the only other thing, let this thing finish, but the only other concern I have is an elegant way to deal with the, the YouTube upload type deal, to deal with that. Yeah, so, I, don't, I don't think, I really don't think that, that you know, um, I think that, that that's getting too fancy and, and it has... It, it leaves you open for bugs. Where if you just have it to where exactly where it's yep. in a it's in a a folder here that they can then download and upload to YouTube. That's fine. Yeah. Well, that's good to go. I mean, yeah, it's in a folder. It's in the root directory, so I can expose that to let them download it, and then that makes my life easy. Yeah, I wouldn't because because you know um, I have clients that have you know uh, different types of smartphones and different types of computers and they'll and they try to do the instant like the the uh, they take the video and then they try and upload it to YouTube and they're telling me that there's problems with it so you know yeah and I, we don't need more problems right. especially if right. we go to scale that's the last thing we need right all right so, so it's almost there now it's, it's creating the final steps and let's see what it does there should should be there and we should be done You know, this is running in another scripting window, so it will probably be done even if I were to hit go back and, or go back in. When I tried it, it didn't. It, it did all this stuff like what you're what you're seeing, and but it didn't. It didn't produce. Make anything. the videos. Yeah. All right. Let's see if this thing is All right. Should it should go to the page now? Yeah. Give it another five or six seconds. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, the biggest the biggest thing that I think has the the real good appeal is this and the um, the AdWords and the set cities. You know, um, the things that would take a lot of time for them to do by hand, and that's basically there they are. the. I called it Terry. Yeah, yeah. So here it is. See the different background. Right. Hi, GC. This is the Voice Over System. Yeah. The way to put the home description. I mean, it's not bad. No, you know? it's good. Yeah. Yep. And and frankly, it's yeah. something that that you know, if you look at it, you know, for the price point of the site that they get all these features, and this this alone has like a good uh, weighted value. So, you know, and so so this takes takes a lot of the hassle and time out of their day. So does the AdWords setup. So does the set cities. 